Banye bayo itola, banye bayo fisu guitola. Abanye basi bawele kota ngege baitole. Kutriki, kutaf, kuwau, mara kuzolunga. Let's do this. Uh, I just love this. Yo, uh, welcome to the uh, welcome to the podcast session on the Overview Radio. My name is Joey, as you know. Ladies call me Ebotswana because I'm way too fly. Come on now, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> but since I'm way too fast, I call myself Vrrr. Pa! No doubt. And as you can see, today I am joined by the one and only, the legend of the game, Big Caesar. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, my king? Kwena. What's up, my king? Yo, I'm good, Scott. Er, Are you good? I'm great, Papa. I'm ah. great. What's up to everybody? Thank yeah. you for having me. Yeah. Er. Uh-huh. Uh, you, 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 you. I can see that you're working Botswana, like, uh huh. You, hey, huh? um, yeah, this is basically something that all has put together. Yeah, um, I think athletics haven't been happening and everything, so there's like an opportunity for uh, us, really, Botswana, to buy these t shirts uh. and then the Hona Little Lebali really for Botswana National Sports Council, not just football, yeah, but every um, a sport code. Yeah, so what even corporate companies, you know, they can buy for their people, uh. and this all goes into. You want a little Latin, so shout out Orkasi. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, go get your t- your t-shirts and help um, with our national sports. Yeah, classes. and and you have been rapping us for quite a while now. Yeah, huh? you've been rapping Botswana <laughs> for quite a long time. Yeah, huh? How many years now? Jeez, man. Um, <laughs> I started. My first album came out in 2002. Mm-hmm. Um, Mare, pretty much rapping and going to Boyaran FM. Mm. It was early, early on, man. Um. Mm. Yeah, well, well, I, I, I went to school with a uh, cast called Masara Apula. Mm. Um, so that's where we usually would go to, to Bo side because he's the one who literally got me into rapping and yeah. Kestali on our. Uh. So, you know, when we got to side I was doing from three, from four. Uh. So I'm, I'm th- yeah, f- hey man, 16, <laughs> Yeah. So he's the one who literally told me that I should start writing my own lyrics. Mm. And that's how we met Bo Sydney. And the piece that album came out, I think, in 2000. In 2000. So I can say, yeah, uh. 20, yeah since it can't be 21 years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <and> what? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jesus you know why, Christ, man. my man. Uh, that's a, a long time. A round of applause for Big Caesar. Oh, uh, that's a long uh, time. What about that? That's horn. <laughs> huh? No doubt, bro. That's a long time. <laughs> yeah, man. No, but it can't be 21, guys. Come on. Okay, 2000 until... Whoa, it is. Yeah, it is huh? it's quite but a while. It's a while, yeah. So we did do that album, and yeah, that's how long we've been doing it. So and we never stopped. And I hear, I don't know if this is true. I, I hear that your first album dropped when you were eighteen. Can I get the first song? It was the the album Yoni Illegal Act. Um, that was when in two thousand and two. Yeah, and then you came to UB the following year. Yeah, two thousand and three. I still remember uh. my now. Two thousand and three zero one. Yeah. Blah blah blah. I'm looking around. Can't yeah. remember where the <laughs> podcast is. I'm looking around and I'm like, uh. Yo, this place is different. Yeah. One <laughs> is different, uh, you know. Huh? And we, I mean, I, when I came here. I was still in the middle of recording music, touring mm. with V and, and stuff. And, you know, can you imagine? I can see, like, people mm. are here. Mm. Can I go, man, dog? Like, it's in uh, the evening, after, yeah, four or five, mm. and they're here doing their classes. Mm. I wouldn't be here <laughs> right now. Uh, now well, we get sold out. Mm, so mm. We, we were doing our, our thing, going to the studios and, and doing the music. Mm. And now I see you need mm. focus to be here. Mm, yeah, and mm. and you, you would definitely be at four one one. I was at four one one. By the way, can you know the funny thing? I came here to get my transcript the other day. Yeah. I went to that building. A lot of the ladies, oh, wow. meaning. So they, they'd say because I, I didn't do that bad. I mean, I made it to fourth year. Uh. economics. It was a matter of money. Uh, yeah. I didn't see myself doing anything lying to that at all. And. I wasn't going to be retaking and retaking. Yaron FM was offering me a job. Yeah. You know, um, I think I was about to have a kid on the way. Yeah. It was a lot of things happening. And, you know, to 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 drop out of school is not, it's not as easy as people think. Mm, true, mm. true. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. It's not that easy, man. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. We're still having that conversation. I'm going to Limco. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
<laughs> Imagine man, all after the, how all many the, years now. All the shit that I've done, uh, <laughs> they don't care, my nigga. Like mm. that, like okay, cool. This guy. Oh, I've never heard my mother scream like the time uh, like a bonus scholarship because uh, it's TV and film. Yeah. So yeah, so she was really proud. She's really happy because that's one thing that they know about life. Yeah. You are gonna need more keys than you think you do. So. True that. Mm. So like, why did you decide to study economics? It wasn't me. Uh. It was the freaking dean. Wow. Yeah. He let it another um passive maths or passive English passido to the tat or one in a little more two uh two St. Joe. Niggas don't know. There were two pure science science classes at St. Joe. And the competition Yeah, five L. So it was really tough competition. A lot of L class of five K and five L. Five K class of two thousand and two. Oh okay. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Five L, five K class of two thousand two. Those niggas and they're still killing like it one. Yeah. <laughs> so this is why niggas come fail yeah. with this guy hard and whatever. Uh, I'm working hard because like the people that I was in class with were really really doing that thing. They pushed me. Even the girls like I sit in the front with them. Yeah. Uh, Bobby Pelo and we all of these Matenge, oh, uh, yeah. Tumisang, uh, Kake. So you know all of them. So uh, I big them up. So I did really well. And ultimately, <laughs> ultimately <laughs> after I, I, yeah. I did that's another dude that I came to school with. Oh yeah. I think he's working nice. here now. Oh so, yeah, nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he can come through. He can I'm not school. No, just okay. let the man be. All yeah. right. So yeah, you took her All right. <laughs> Anyhow, when we did end up here, um, right. Mo- 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 year one, mm-hmm. he gave me economics and and demography. Mm. Those were the ones that I and population studies. Yeah. Those were the uh, ones that I ended up majoring in. Uh. And I didn't know one person except. Maybe V's uh, uh, stepdad uh-huh. when I read economics and me and, and V's cousin Lungo, uh, he's the one you know what I'm around. Uh-huh. You be more. He's now in Switzerland, like he's really killing oh, wow. this thing because he was really good uh-huh. at, at, at economics. And so, you know, you can tell. I'm, I was rapping and he wanted uh-huh. a piece of that action near Lake Daruna, but the way he was killing the mat, uh-huh. so you can tell on order. This guy is passionate about numbers, I'm passionate about music. I can't do this thing, yeah. And speaking of school, yeah. Uh, Bom rap about rounding, especially yeah. your generation. Mm-hmm. Bagel is it mm. compared to bom rap about go states about home zany si about go kai. Quite like yeah. compared to rappers to other countries. Yeah. But when we like by tail it like I. Hey, no, it was like the flipping intelligent. It was very important, Mo Mo to to at least because when we came out, um, there was a lot of um, shout out to the to the lords of the ghettos and all of those those guys as yeah. well, but tribal monks and whatever. But they weren't really that lyrical. It was mostly about rhythm. Mm. If you listen to like nineties hip hop, I want a chick to check, make it Mac. Yeah. You know, Jay Z had that whole thing also going. Yeah. It, it wasn't always like Mac. It was always about extending the bar or make it Mac uh-huh. so that it ends at the end of the bar. Uh-huh. So guys were saying a whole lot of nothing. Chickity figgity Mac. What? <laughs> and then the when we came through, it was more like, okay, I really gotta hear what what, mm. what I'm saying, you know? Mm. And that's when reading a book was important like yeah yeah conceptualizing things and from true, watching true movies that. and yeah. uh, we went to public yeah, school like yeah, yeah. We, we went to public school oh and, you did yeah what do you think who twang twang negro so like uh, speaking of me, uh, public hey. school uh, where did you grow up more gaps gonna go because i, I understand up that in, you're from malapol in gaburoni and and mohoditan oh in mohoditan yeah my parents that were really hard workers uh-huh. so it, it I didn't grow up in in the hood. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, we, we we went to public school because my father was just stingy. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> this dude had bread. He yeah. Could, like, yeah, he could have. Uh-huh. But like at the end of the day, he's really proud that I ended up doing varsity and uh-huh. I'm I'm academically uh-huh. you know screwed up. But on. okay, because Nelly Sharpus get a senior sense and a dog. Yeah. Then Tema, Masa, Masalo Apula, and uh, Saint Joseph's. Yeah, Saint Joseph's College, and then UB. Yeah, but. You have, you have this huge sense of command. Yamo yeah. hoodie, you know, yamo guys, but we are say elsewhere, huh? Hey. Okay, if I show you like where we grew up, go BKT, go. Oh yeah, go, go BKT. Go, hey. Oh yeah. We are born hello at all, and we are shy, shy, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, we are making money, and then look, we are making money, and then look, we are And when you are in Mohodi, you are going to appear. Go out, and then we are going to go in Tumole, and then so I was never really <laughs> staying in the same place, oh, yeah. but which is why. I, I got to learn humility because mm. that's those are the people that taught me humility. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you're doing out there. When you come back to some of the people who don't know what you're doing out there, yeah. they, they learn how to humble you and you learn how to live amongst your, your friends. Mm. 
and you know you you appreciate everything that you get because mm. you, you see people not having yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, so you are able to like humble yourself because uh. because they want to uh. you know it's because circumstances hit them so yeah it helps you have that and any any child any guy man yeah. any girl watching this Rumoto is like hood certified and whatever. It just means humility. Yeah. Respect Respect everyone the way you expect them to respect you. Just respect, dog. Yeah. You enter any neighborhood. Yeah. True any that. neighborhood, man. True that. Yeah. So let we me ask we you. We found weed in Uganda. Come on, man. <laughs> Everywhere in Africa, I could find Jay, nigga. It's because you, you have to be. Well, man. Yeah. Hey, and, and and I'm, 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 I'm Africa. Yeah, Don't speaking of that, thing. apparently, like. There's this story so you wanna le Kenya and then Oh god. Uh, yeah. uh, and yeah. then Cuz I was you guys were out <laughs> looking for weed. No, I had it. Uh, oh, you had yeah, it. Yeah, I <laughs> had it. I had the weed. The yeah. thing is Jaba Agere Nelo he was doing other work there. Uh, it was MTV awards. So I had been working go idols there and then yeah, I did I remember. get and then I did get invited for the MTV uh, yeah. thing. So yeah, we at the after party and I actually gave Slicker a ride from there because we had a shuttle. So Slicker was there on his hustle. Like, I want a Slicker on life. Yeah. Slicker was w- w- with a backpack yeah. around K- Africa oh. trying to understand how he can oh, put really? himself in the game. Uh. So we make him more. I'm like, yeah, that's my hero from Squatter Camp. Yeah. Jump in the shuttle. So I know we go to an after party. That's where Jabba's like, hey, Lebad. The guy is all. <laughs> the guy is all. <laughs> hey, Lebad, the guy is all. <laughs> because he knows that like, I've hung around in Kenya mm. a while. And come on, man, smoke Jabba up. <laughs> um, let me ask you a question. Um, yeah, man. Is it true that it's Kest who discovered Ska and a whole lot of cats in the game? Yeah. Is it true? Yeah, it's really true. Oh, mm. from, from St. Joe? Um, nah, I was with him, Kumasa Oh, Kumasa He was doing from three and I was doing from one. Oh. This nigga was winning, Mr. Kumasa winning uh, long distance running. What? Winning... Um, <laughs> What everything like cast is a special human being. Oh really? Yeah, like uh, we're only gonna remember this nigga when he's gone. This dude will even identify what you can excel in mm. with no uh, expecting any reciprocal like uh. action. Like he will just give you what you already have. I mean yeah. When we started rapping, I we used to, he used to give me topics. Uh. Like niggas will never believe this. Topics every day girlfriend, um, boy meets girl, AIDS or and then this whole week I'll be writing those rhymes and then we go to his house um go face to camera yeah. down and we recite those rhymes you know mm. what I mean that's how I got better I, I hadn't written my first rhyme until Cass told me I can write oh that's yeah. dope. but uh I once seen uh someone Abu Akhore, most niggas have uh, quite like they are not giving Cast his flowers while he's still alive or maybe it's because mm. Uh, people are not making a spectacle out of it. Maybe Halen yeah. will see a lot of things a lot. Cast. Do you guys really give him his flowers? As in, I'd say, like, no, totally. Like, I don't know what more can we do except support. Yeah, you know, um, the best thing that I mean, even with Tata Lebal, I really wished he had took the money and ran. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I really wish, like, I kept calling this nigga, I was like, stop paying these people. Stop paying these <laughs> niggas. Take this money. Go buy a bag. Scar said it. Hey. Scar said it. I kept trying to tell him. He deserves a horn. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> because people, like people with good hearts like that, always um. get taken advantage of. And then they end up with the drama. Yeah. Because right now, I think what to do my dear. Kesta haja my dear, legends. Haja my dear. Hey. But he walked the damn country. But like, my relationship with him is he knows I'm not going to walk with him. Yeah, <laughs> and like he knows, he knows me. I'll help him how I help him. Yeah, but, but working now. He's, uh, he's my bro. He knows um, what he, that nigga is not gonna walk. And yeah. w- with him, or like we will do awareness campaigns. I performed at Unity Tata Labala Tahawa. I never expected payment. Mm. Um, but maybe that was for selfish reasons. But also because, hey man, I got a pop is Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. So why not, man? We don't say look at that whole. Next time, come up with an idea. Get all of us in there. Learn our whole. Mm. But let's do it. Well, like, well. Uh, like we mentioned, Harry mm. like, you come a long way. Scar comes yeah. a long way. And yes, I don't know if you know this. I don't know if my crew knows this as well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But there was, there was a tweet a couple of years back. Yeah, can I go between 2012, 
2010-2009, yeah. Super Mega, a.k.a. Oh, yeah. He took a pick with you. Yeah, man. <laughs> no doubt. Abu um, you are one of the niggas, by long they inspire him. Yes, right. You know, he looked up to you that time to be where he is now. No doubt. Dude. You know, uh, isn't that some shit? You know, <laughs> that's dope, bruh. I, I feel mean, you. I feel you. There was a time in Longore, you guys were niggas from Botswana were the end things of hip hop. Ska was this huge pillar in African hip hop. Yeah, man. But Humpeno is like, uh, the tables have turned. Botswana, um, high peer mapping when it comes to hip hop. You know, yeah. what went wrong? Hey, man, a lot of things, my nigga. Um, first of all, um, there was not a lot of support for what we were doing. You have to understand that mm. um, everyone always wants to talk about two million, two million, two million. Yeah. And, you know, we were conquering Africa. We were up yeah. against uh, people from Nigeria. Everywhere, bruh. But and we were able to win. Mm. And and most of the time when you put Botswana in positions like that, I mean, even like your homie, uh, we'll go team distant. Mm. If you put... Well, he used to be. I'm not even. Thank you so much, But like, he will tell you. He will tell you. Put a Motswana in any situation, dog. Um, yeah. Eight times out of ten, we excel. Uh. And, and the, the, there's a jealousy that comes with that, especially because of our, I'll say, the infrastructure, yeah, our creative industry. Because majority of people are difficult to go because mm. they think those numbers are their numbers. Yeah. Um, the reason is that we don't know what we Oh. Hip hop was about that. It was about lyrics, and it was about being open to other other cultures outside of where you are. And yeah. Our parents, our big brothers, traveled. Um, you know, we even when uh, Bo Drastic, Bo Kesha Society were hosting oh, yeah. that hip hop show on RB2. Oh. Those were like some real hip hop stuff that was coming in immediately to us, and we we soaked all of that in. Now, when it comes to the private sector in Botswana helping mm. us, they just they turn they turn their back you mm. know um the the cell phone companies live on it but mm. about it too so one kind of like there was uh there's orange cell phones yeah, the ska, ska pack and man. Man. yeah hmm? so, you guys want the big things bro but that's the problem you see yeah. we have this thing more more high more i, I think where we never want to learn from the past generation it's like the 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 uh -huh. so we're all here to give knowledge uh -huh. so that this new generation doesn't fuck up yeah like we did or, or however they think we did yeah right now i mean Kahapan Lehensi, he was driving a really dope whip and yeah. i know where he lives yeah the other day he was putting up curtains or something like that you know what i mean mm. there was a point where that could never happen yeah there was a point where um koi san couldn't be living in, in 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 block 10 where they're living it's such a big crib with the studio in there yeah. and all they have to do to make money is to get in the studio and make a record yeah that didn't exist when we we're doing my uh, music Damn. so i look at those wins uh. i look at the fact that Botswana are really confident in our people because when we started dog no one gave a rat's ass uh. I was getting 500 bucks to perform 30 minutes go lizard lounge uh -huh. and at the same time the only reason we were able to even get club shows was because easy b one night because he had heard me and my pz uh, songs on the radio and stuff mm. about connect the mic <laughs> because all of these things were all about djs they're the ones with the yeah yeah about yo kita hold this up gana five clip uh -huh. dude we started seeing these five clippers grow and whatever and re tswa mo di ngo nya re simola go hiriswa go spread me la etsanyana bo ya rena fm ba ratsa go re push that day because people liked our song so it wasn't about like local yeah. our shit was popping our true, music was true then. banging yeah that is why you, you know guys I mean? even went on to win like channel Over there. awards so the only difference everything. is that now people know there is opening for we remote eye and then people catch on to you yeah. but are they really passionate about what they do mm. you know what i mean you can like what happened people love you yeah but do you like what you were doing to get to that point yeah because when they don't love you anymore you gotta go back to the damn studio yeah and if true. you don't like going to the studio oh jail. yeah true that but you know? um were you away that you one of the people that inspired mega I wouldn't say that. Scar <laughs> was big like no, that. But you, you know, know what the crazy part let is? Let me tell you something, guys. Scar <laughs> once posted AKA. <laughs> AKA was Starstruck. <laughs> and but the for thing that, is that dude, no doubt. But that nigga, Leonardo Tane, he's a very a gifted person. Um, pick up. Uh, um, pick up, bro. Hey, yeah. But that's what I say. Like, it's 
you see Viso, you see um, yeah. you see Balaclava Blanco. Yeah. You see you see Baxin, you see um you know, you see all of these guys Jordan Muzi. Oh my god, I get in a Samantha before get to a lab mer. Equal representation. <laughs> you know, but Amanda Brown. Like Amanda yeah. Brown is amazing. This can't kind of track. Can't you know what I mean? Tele, track this uh, this girl is always making. Hey. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Because she goes back in the studio. Mm. So I'm just saying, man, mm. keep working. So it's like uh Hikitsura was it after your third album? I get like your first album was illegal like Yeah man. Between open bar and happy hour, what's Um, I think it was a happy hour and then open and bar. And then open bar. Yeah. It's like yeah. after open bar, yeah, your sound be be similar. I went to the radio. <laughs> the problem is, I went to the radio, and yeah. you can't serve two masters. Mm-hmm. But like now, you can because of the the the, the convenience factor. Mm. So like then. Radio affected your yeah, craft my, in terms of rap and, and all that. And even just the overall mystery of being a recording artist. Oh, yeah. If you are with people every single morning. Yeah. And then you're going to release music. I mean, what is what is the point? Yeah. My, me, I was able to like keep traction because music is my first love. And I yeah. know at any given moment when all of this other shit crumbles, I got to get back in the studio. So it's always about... Even if I'm away from the music, I'm never away from the music. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> you're on FM. Yeah. Uh, it's like, okay, <laughs> it's like, when it comes to radio, you're on FM is your first love as well. It's a toxic relationship. <laughs> you know, it's like you and you're on FM there's, have this toxic relationship yeah. that no one ever understands. Tell yeah. us about your relationship with the No, it's the people they keep hiring. <laughs> it's the people I mean, they keep hiring to come and boss me around. I have no problem with the owners. This is yeah. why I keep coming back because, uh, yeah, clearly the how owners. How many times have you been fired? I think I'm thinking five. I'm five not sure. times. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. But so, I, like, you've sure. been hired four times and then fired probably five times? More, probably more. All right. Yeah, <laughs> so, like, would you ever go back to your FM? Well, if they have a different programs manager. So hey, yeah. yeah, because I really think that programs manager stinks. Oh yeah, yeah. All <laughs> all he's doing every single time is making competitions and talent searches. He mm-hmm. re- he wouldn't know talent if it bit him in on the afro. Mm. Yeah, he's, is he? Yeah, he's yeah. Oh. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's clueless. And um, on top of that, I just want to talk about the fact that I got fired because people s- said that I was about to fight with Binelo Mojaga. Mm. Hey, I didn't try and fight her. Mm. What so. really happened there? But was there ever... No, it was a professional argument. Yeah. And I have a really loud voice. I'm sure by now... <laughs> hey. Hey, but it wasn't like I was, I was aggressively walking towards him. Yeah. And then the next morning, he fights with spanning and then it's a whole suspension for about a month mm. and then that's when they tell me uh, so like that is uh the person who nearly let that final part get easy yeah he kept dragging me in front of the board for a meeting dragging me in front of management every week there's something this little nigga is mad about mm, but i thought you were an easy way boy no nah, i've never been that boy i'm not around like bitch <laughs> niggas man you know what i mean that's what we call a bitch nigga you know what I mean? I'm not going to be working with like, what the hell has this nigga done? He tried to be a producer. He tried to be a rapper. He tried to be a radio presenter. He put himself up on those legends by uh, Yarn FM. Yeah. Do you even remember one radio show that Easy hosted? I remember The Bridge. Okay. Maybe. And I think Hotness. Well, something like yeah, that. Yeah. Hotness. But what? That's legendary status? No. Come on, boy. <laughs> Come on, nigga. You ain't done Jack. You didn't even do Nigel Amos. Get your name off that thing. That was produced by DJ Scratch. I rapped. What did you do, homie? Yo, Izzy. What did you do? Izzy. Didn't do Let jack, me. man. Give Big Caesar some horn for telling the truth. Big up to you, Big Caesar. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, <laughs> I want no, just I, to clarify this. Yeah, man. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I, listen, I'm just telling it like it is. Mm. There's going to come a time when people are going to be asking these questions about why certain things happen to certain people. Yes. There's a lot of really jealous people out there because they are not creative at all. Yeah. And then they start doing little skimpy things to get you out of your mindset. So if you are doing this podcast now and then a mainstream radio station wants to hire you, uh. you need to charge them. True. Because you created this platform. Yeah. You know what I mean? True and that. With, also, you got like about 60,000 followers. Yeah. Yeah. When you do that, that's all you. They want to yeah. see you. 
And if you can make that, that work for whichever broadcaster you're working for, it needs to work for you too. True so that. I'm cool with the RNFM as mm. the business, but you know, you should have never, you know, allowed that boy to <laughs> to to be your PM. He's going to sink this ship. <laughs> Yo, um, I forgot to mention that I have my crew on the set uh, behind the scenes. No doubt. Uh, if ever they have anything to ask you, like they can always pull through. Hey, no, uh, but maybe later. No doubt. Um, I would like us to clarify this thing. Yes, sir. Big scissor. Because now from... Never when like you were born on social media, you are posting and all that. Yeah, man. You are always opposing GBV. You yeah. know, you are always this advocate towards women. Yeah, man. Or guys, let us protect our women, Arbarat, and stuff like that. So, I would like you to clarify. Mm. I would like you to keep on clarifying this point all the time. Yeah. What, what really happened between what really you happened, and A? Yeah, what really happened is that this was uh, a, a plot between Izzy and Winello. Yeah. yeah, they plotted to get me fired. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how far up this went, but I'm sure... The managers were tired of continuously having to have meetings mm. about me. Yeah. So that was one of the only things I think they could pull out of their pockets mm. to say, Yeah. And so you're sitting in a meeting and people are telling you that. And mind you, Martin was there. I, oh, I never pulled funny. Martin. Hey, yeah. I never pulled Martin in front of that thing because that's not. I think it's a There was also Mili, who's the producer of the radio show. Mili was there too. I'd never do that to Mili. Also, she was an intern. Yeah, it's clearly buoy and easy. And then it goes up to the management. It becomes the question of Tato. Mm. Are you capable? Yeah. Uh, of, of of you know. Were you threatening to her? So no matter how many times I told the story, when I was seated, and the only time I stood up was to leave because she had stood up laying it. I even helped Easy take the chairs and put them back in the in the office. Yeah. So how could I have run down the stairs yeah. if I was helping this nigga put them back in there? Yeah. And how angry was I? Yeah. For a big lord helping this nigga put the chairs back in the building. <laughs> yeah. So she had bounced because she was the one screaming, Hey, get station is like I do me. Hey, get station is like I do me. Mind mm. you, that's the chairman of the board. Yeah. And I'd never put him in those conversations as well. well yeah. But, but this is what this chick was screaming. Mm. So that's when I realized, oh, shit. Mm. This is way beyond you. So by the time I get to this meeting, I'm sitting across the table from this easy nigga. Came I get, but really, Tapan, do you really think during a radio show, I would stand up and go beat b mm. You know what this nigga said? What? Are, yes, Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would stand up and beat her. I mean, this is like what these things get when you tell them what I'm not blind to because uh. people don't know these faces about niggas. Uh. And that crippled me. That was a punch to the gut. I was like, damn, this is the same nigga who came crying to me once, dollar some would wear. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the only thing saying what I see where I'm like, what makes you think that I would beat her though? Like I really, really, really want to understand. Yeah. About hey, I could you said you'll break my knees. Uh. Now <laughs> I've said that to him. <laughs> to easy. Yeah. I told him. <laughs> he was in front of the door and I was trying to get out of a meeting. Uh, and then I was like, get <laughs> So I think you confused it with who? With the fact that I would then turn around and beat someone yeah. in a job when you were physically standing in my way. Yeah. Hey, I was telling you, get out of my way or I'll break your knees. Mm. Like, That's it. So I'm not out here being violent just because I'm not violent, man. Yeah. I've just I'm just really popular and things have gotten out of hand and people associate me with violence. But I'm not. I'm yeah. not out there. I'm not doing so that. So much nonsense. exclusivity only on no doubt, my nigga. The overview podcast with Big Caesar. No uh, doubt. Caesar, uh, no uh, wrapping up this issue uh, between Ban and Yeah. Um, you once mentioned something between you and your baby moms and Adrian. Yeah, man. Um, I understand Adrian's birthday is sometimes August. August when? Yeah, August 25th. Yeah, and he's turning 11 or 12 this he's year? He's turning 11. Yeah, Come so on, uh, you once went on social media. Well, things are, are not easy between you and your kid. How is the situation right now? It's still the same. There's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> no, we just all like need to love each other more. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, like... Men and women situations, mine is it's it's not unique. Yeah. Like that's what I keep telling people. My situation is not unique at all. People get together, they form whatever bond, they have a child, and then whatever breakup leads to whatever, 
Mm. But I'm always just trying to preach to people because I really don't want it to become like a whole thing because he's going to see the stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, especially because he's 11. I'm sure he's already seen some yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Probably Googling my name. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying, all yeah. over, you know, um, ladies, yo, um, there's going to come a time when these kids are grown up I wanna, and these issues are going to affect them more than us because Rebatona, we chose each, each other to do the stuff but like when you keep children away from the, the other parent because you are mad at them for whatever reason yeah you're not helping anyone well, I wanna yeah. get so please um and if she's watching come on man really he said it all <laughs> <laughs> come on man. um as we go <laughs> as really we childish. get close to wrapping up this whole thing yeah man um quickly yeah. like you mentioned earlier majita <laughs> <laughs> was there ever beef between you and Zeus? Can it was a commercial thing? It was commercial. I oh. mean, hey, me and Zeus's brother uh, Lefika really get along. Uh-huh. Um, I mean, with Zeus, it was it was really, it was pretty much. It came from they were from Rainbow, we were from Saint Joe. Oh, hey, so it was there was a couple of battles, private. pretty much. And yeah, I had a girlfriend who went to Rainbow. Yeah, and Zeus mentioned her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> on her battle. Yeah, yay, Munna. Like a single room, Daniel. And the thing is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she is the sister of a very famous rapper also. Oh, really? No, I can't, I can't, oh. I can't. She's married. Mm. So at least at that point he made it personal. So that's why I did middle finger on illegal act. I wasn't gonna diss him. It was yeah. the last track on the album. I'm coming, you, I'm coming, I'm coming at you like something. I'm pulling you in. <laughs> Damn! You know that shit. I'm nigga. Like <laughs> Hey, oh god that thing that yes, thing was uh, crazy let me tell you something man. <laughs> oh no scar yeah, let bro. me tell you something bro you didn't have to speak about her come on oh, sorry. Crying sorry. Lady. <laughs> oh, well, Zeus. Oh, Zeus. Hey. okay well i'll see you there's a reference um what's happening uh between you and lighty who started who who pulled to because oh, lighty and aruru moved so he was just standing up for himself yeah Oh. I'm, I'm going to keep telling people, you know, mm. this nigga was putting together an advertising agency. Yeah. As everyone knows. So I want to get uh. And then what then happens is that, you know, there's a, a lady friend of mine who says she's looking for models. Yeah. Guess what I do? I call, uh, I link them. Yeah. And guess what they do? Uh. They <laughs> fuck. They fuck. I want to check in it. I don't want to check it. I don't want Hey. But me and this chick had been dating way long, long time ago. So even then, he picks up. I'm telling people the real truth here. Yeah. After he does this with this chick, he calls me up. Yo, Big Caesar. Ish, nigga, she got our na lungwa na yo. I like it. I think I'm catching feelings. Yeah. We should become like that. Get a fuck you. Never fucking call my phone. Opa. Oh, what? That's exactly what I did. Big Caesar in the building. So baby. after that. <laughs> Something happened. Uh, uh, yeah. I think for him to drop the track, and he started making it seem like the woman that he says he had sex with was my baby mama. Yeah. Oh, I think I started it because I saw William KRM on that booty uh, butt cheeks. But cheeks. Yeah. And then I said, that time uh, a, a comedian kills uh, yeah. a rapper on his own song. <laughs> 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 he slept with my baby mama. Um, he's lying. Uh, so this is why I don't like respond to him at all. Um, yeah. Because he's lying. He's fabricating all of these stories. And I think most of the time when like, he's making these videos, he's probably somewhere in Francis Town. Mm. Yeah, because there's no way. Like, there's no way uh, we're going to run into each other and it's just going to be sharing hello. So I'm going to lie. And I don't even listen to his music. Well, but, and uh, I'm not threatening him. I'm not there's gonna have to be a conversation mm. you understand what i yeah. mean because i think there's something that maybe i've affected him by yeah hey and so he needs to tell me what it is uh, and there's hey. this thing you are a big caesar you are at the end of the day is it true i'm not doing the beating i never <laughs> hit anyone assault is a dangerous thing man yeah oh yeah you'll go to jail um, i don't do that um these listen i'm when that nigga was hating on me any easy at one point he said hey we're another people's champ and he thought that was an insult yeah 
And I'm looking at this dude. I'm like, you know, the only thing that I will always appreciate is that how much Botswana have love for me. And I'm just talking about the richest to the poorest and the oldest. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. They always give love. So if you're going to be talking all kinds of crazy about me, Mr. I think, yeah. and they put hands on you. Yeah. <laughs> I thank them. Yeah. Hey, but I'm not going to be out there <laughs> telling people yeah. to go and rush anyone. I just uh. know. Yo, man, we are the authority in hip hop in Botswana. And there uh. will always be people who... Who, who put us high up there. Yeah. And we do right by them by releasing music. Uh, I have a new project coming out. Yeah. And if you do right by your fans, they'll protect you. And this is why we're still in here. I can't believe it's been 21. Yeah. 21. And, <laughs> and Scott, you know, you know, bro, um, it's such a huge honor that I'm doing this with you because, Pegapa. you know, I can, I can sing along to Obana uh, Illegal Act, no doubt. Open Bar, no the, doubt. Uh, Happy Hour. Happy Hour. No doubt, I can friend. sing along to almost every song Moody album and tell it so it's wet to wait. Pick up, Papa. You know, I can. Yeah. Because I'm broad. I'm broad. But I'm broader than Broadway. Yeah, you know. The thing is, we were like, like if you listen to guys now, man, like guys, both Vizo and both Flex, what they're doing with sound, it's pretty much what we were doing. Like back then, we were experimenting with sounds. Yeah. And. The fact that like these songs are still playing now and they still bump like that, uh. and Goof now is a farmer. Presley is still doing traditional now, yeah. and I'm out here trying to do TV and film. And, yeah. like, but our music is still able to shake a place up. Mm. We can't, we can't, we can't thank God enough. That's you know all. what I mean? And, we can't. and you Can seem to like have that. this. No uh chemistry with Pongo Rista. Yeah. You know, you guys did like the song uh and you also did um My People. Tan, tan, tan. Yeah, My people. No doubt. Pa. You know, uh where is Pongo now? Um Pongo uh, the last time I saw him he was in love. He was buying vegetables. What? <laughs> but yeah, he's he's been recording his own music. Can I don't when they when Mudisa who was in third mind, he was my manager, so he put he suggested Pongo. Yeah. Because Pongo at the time was the hardest kicking guy mm. on Tribal Monks. Yeah. So it was, I needed his feature mm. to get into old Rabo Road. Yeah. So he put me into, but Lona, who were younger, were able to just accept me for who I am. So yeah. that's what, what the plan was. So I'm still looking for Pongo to get some inspiration mm. from him. And then we do something that's along the line of the things we've been doing. Because to beat the two ones we've done, it's going to be hard. Man. Yeah, uh, yeah. And sticking to your music, I understand that uh, you have something hot coming up. Yeah. Uh, with Fella. Yeah, we did. Fella wanted 10. Now I could come out with five, my man. <laughs> I think there's about two more that weren't done, but we decided to make it a five piece. Yeah. Um, I featured Vizo on yeah. a track called Raising the Bar. Yeah. Because guys have been trying to figure out what, what, uh, how that would sound. I got Ozzy F. Teddy and, uh, and uh, uh, J. Dot on one track called Praying. Um, mm. I, I got two tracks on my own. Yeah. And then there is one with D-Rap called Sophie. Uh-huh. So when is it dropping? Um, next week. Um, we don't have the perfect times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but we, you, you'll see on, on my social medias. Yeah. And the Sky ones has been hacked. Yeah. So just hit Tatoma Tlapapiri and you can follow there. That's where usually most of my stuff is. Yeah. Apart from music, uh, what are you up to? Wrapping up? Um, TV and film, man. Aside from school. That's it. That's all <laughs> I'm trying to do. I'm trying to tell stories in a different way, man. Yeah. I, I heard uh, 50 said something really interesting about like how they were able to make power a success. Mm. I used to see like budgets, study movie when they come through and like how much the, the music gets, how little. Mm. the music gets and that's all he did he flipped it around started working more with the music and then the visuals also but there's something that clicked in my head there yeah. and I mean you've seen when Angela is having sex with Ghost <laughs> yeah you remember those scenes because music yeah. you're like yeah. yeah so if you make the music and make uh. the visuals yeah, uh. we should have something good Kosi do you have anything to contribute um, I would ask one one question Stephen. yeah, yeah. And I like get so smashed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that thing. <laughs> what does that mean? No, that is the one who used to push that agenda. Kenzo is the one who used to push that agenda. And then that's another reason Ora has married me. He thinks I started it. Mm-hmm. And I didn't. The, the, the people did it. And I used to tell him, they say the same thing about me. Yeah. Why would I start? Do I want to? So, I blind, 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 blind. 
And I'm just happy OG. we survived, nigga. We, we made it. Yeah. yeah man. <laughs> You're still here. Hey, Mona. But just, uh, just last week, after some tests on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so. Peggy, shut it down. Shut it down. <laughs> He's still here doing podcasts with us. No Big doubt. Caesar, thank you so much for being part of thank the you, Overview Podcast. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it, bro. Uh, I believe that we're going to do this more and more as time goes on. And Definitely. we'll get to future and whatever projects that we'll be doing. Definitely. Well. No, I'll, I'll come through. I'll let you guys know. Uh, yeah. Check it out. Khabarun uh, Sun, S-O-N, coming out next week. Yeah. Yeah. Check out Overview, man. Thank you, guys. Thank All you right. so much, guys, for watching. My name is Joey. Brrr, pa! No doubt. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. Big season. Thank you Malik so much, bro. Bless up. Bless up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm supposed to call someone first. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then if he's going to get a good block five, I really want to go. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one.